Welcome, I'm Paul, this is Dave. You're watching a Gravity Falls Reaction, Season 2, Episode 6. Last episode was all about love, for Seuss this time. And I like that. I like Seuss. Seuss is like the Hagrid of the gang, if you know what I mean. He's big, he's lovable, he's goofy, he's absent-minded, but he's always there for the gang. He's always the guy that comes in clutch when you don't expect anyone else to. And I like when stories, when shows pay homage to characters like that, give them their due respect. It's important. And yeah, it was kind of bittersweet because I think when I was watching back in editing, I thought her name was Melody, but it's Melanie or it's one or the other. <laughs> Anyways, we'll just call her Mel for now, but his girlfriend now, it's long distance. They'll come back together eventually, I'm sure, but for now it's just long distance, which is bittersweet, but at least it's something and it's real. It looks like. They're very well suited for each other. They both love food. They're both goofy. Alright, so let's jump into the next episode and see where this goes. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Oh, I like the vibe so far. This isn't Summerween. Is this actual Halloween? Well, hello there, traveler. I see your car broke down on this lonesome country road. A place so remote. That no one can hear your screams. Then I didn't say that. Come in, come in. <laughs> He's just recording a it's promo. Winter. You may be subjected to my tales. Tales designed to sell my merchandise. Yep. <laughs> so is this actual Halloween? Yep. I mean, we got some marine. Maybe this show is gonna go beyond one summer. In Gravity Falls? I mean, they're only supposed to be there for the summer. They have to go to school back at home, I'm guessing. Sadly. Or it's just some random promo that Stan is trying to make money from. Which <laughs> is in character. First object for sale, like that they're all fake. <sighs> no Maybe? Fan, too many orifices. Hands up. No, seriously, hands off. That's not for sale. Right. Yes, I have so <laughs> Or no, that was the Palantir, right? Yeah. Professor glasses. They make me look like a genius. Hmm? You already are a genius, Dipper. Or I say that. Bad timing. Prepare to watch the delicate art of the deal. She's an actual witch. How much for the junk watches? They are not for sale. Bless you guys. All right, I get it. You're creepy. Anyway, let's talk any more watching. <laughs> Okay, I don't think she's fake, Stan. Someone needs to work on their social skills. And their observation skills. And trim those nails. Good job. <laughs> he swiped it. Uncle Stan, are you serious? Technically, lifting from a witch? But he left the money, right? That sounded like a curse. Hey, anyone want to buy a wet blanket? We got a wet blanket for sale. <laughs> I can't survive in this. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not... Good product to sell. Yeah, right. Wait, is this curse ugly or normal ugly? <laughs> it's like I got off scot free. <laughs> oh no. I mean, isn't that the punishment in some societies? They take your hands. So I might have got cursed a little, but the yeah. watch looks nice, right? It'll just slip right off. You don't have any bones to prevent it from falling off. <laughs> He'd rather keep the watch than return it. Gotta give that watch back and apologize. What? That old crone should apologize to me for denying my right to buy cheap junk. I don't need hands. I've got self-respect. <laughs> Say hello to your new hands. In quotes. Some adept prosthetics there. Hands are overrated. I'm ready to take on the day. <laughs> they were dating or went on a date? Why is she walking by the mystery shack? Maybe she's still into Stan. Did we play toss me a dozen eggs like we always do? Why would you ever play that? Of course she lives in a cave. Stop saying hand witch. How do you even find the address for this? How does anyone know that? <laughs> 
and I can't tap anything. Guys, can you stop tapping both my shoulders? Okay, she just collects hands. There's a, there's a monster in RuneScape. A yeah, Slayer task, which is just this giant hands. Freaking creepy. <laughs> Punch the hands, that's right, Dipper. I like his gusto. Alright, <laughs> he can't be serious. Can I have my hands back? I have a certain gesture I'd like to share with you. Alas, <laughs> your hands cannot be gotten so easily. The spirits say, um, that the curse can only be broken by a kiss. Just what? making it up. It's all right, kids. Just look away. Playing with her prey. A kiss on the lips. Oh. What? Forget it. I'm not kissing any of that mess. I don't need my hands that bad. Yeah, you're just making stuff up now. Let's go, kids. No, she sure is, but... No, you're right, you're right. Uh, She's just lonely. It's creepy even for a cave. You just need to yeah. redecorate. For example... I mean... <laughs> men are minimalist, but even for me, this is uh, Ooh, a bit too plain. But how did she have so many hands if she only takes it from people who steal? Or she just goes around claiming hands from any guy and hopes that they come and see her? It's a lot of helping hands, right? <laughs> that is something. Okay, time to take a look at your fantastic new cave. <laughs> Men will definitely tolerate you now. And I left a book of pickup lines on the end table. Oh, right. Hmm. The fresh ones. <laughs> there you Shaky, go. Scratchy. <laughs> will you be my boyfriend now? No. Never. Never. Not a chance. Not an infinite universe, multiverse, infinity. Hey, Just trim the nails. Lost in these mountains. Could I crash here for the night? Jury doesn't look magic, but there's a very interesting story I'm about to make up about. Like a piggy bank? A baconing! Oh my god. <laughs> Just don't have Mabel in the same room. Mabel, could you knock it off? I'm trying to solve this <laughs> sound effects. puzzle, but it seems impossible. 3D Rubik's Cube. I mean... Get this one, which... Takes me a minute to solve. To increase brain power, grind it up and apply to the forehead overnight. You're already smart. You're already a genius, Stipper. Come on. You just need time. You're not going to know it instantly. Took me a week to learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube. This is going to be interesting. So, uh, intr incredibly smart Waddles. What is Waddles going to do? <laughs> well, he's not going to become bacon, that's for sure. He's going to learn all about the world. Smarter already. The digits of pi are 3.1. So and so. Mabel? Oh, Dipper, look! Greetings, friends. It is I, Waddles <laughs> the Pig. It's Neil deGrasse Tyson. Are you kidding me? Have you been possessed I love it. Of a nerd? I understand my transformation sort of. may be vexing, but I have prepared a presentation. Nerd with a great voice, though. <laughs> My pig arms are cute and useless. This isn't right! The pig goes oink! The pig goes oink! Now, the pig Not anymore, Mabel. Where he can shine. What the heck Did he Dipper say that the paste will last forever? Or is it temporary? I'm guessing it's going to be temporary. <laughs> <laughs> the Man, I am loving this new waddle. Old habits die hard. <laughs> uh, he's definitely, uh... What, Mabel is attracted to him? The hair? <laughs> Dude, that rocket cart is amazing. It pretty, it pretty is. Of Waddle, don't you want to stay up here? It pretty is. Morning pranks with me, Mabel. This pig's got a gift. He needs to share it with the world. I'm sorry, Mabel. There is more to life than making fart noises and laughing at those fart noises. I sure. see that now. It could be a part of life. It just can't be everything. <laughs> I knew that one was coming, but it's still funny. Forget that. Brenda's gonna look at cute boys through skylight. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, he's gonna burn down, or she's gonna burn down the entire forest in the process. <laughs> Coping with crippling loneliness after losing my co-host. Loneliness. How does she have a soundboard effect for that? Oh my goodness. Yummy, yummy for my fat little pig tummy. What the heck is going on here? How many tries did he have to take to record that line without crackling up? Greatest achievement: the origin of life. The meaning of existence. And the mysteries of gravity fall? Soon your pig is gonna be world famous. She's gonna be 42, right? Presidents. Well, what about helping me? Do you really want to spend your whole life in meetings with dumb smart guys? If for at least one day. You forget a week. Who you are. Don't you remember? He has a great memory now, so he can. Remember them all. <laughs> There better not be bacon in that sandwich. In my last eight seconds of consciousness, I want you to know that science is a horizon to search for, not a prize to hold in your hand. Also, I miss getting my tummy tickled. This is the machine in uh, the Mario... Uh, Super Mario movies? Super Mario Brother? They had this machine that could make you smart or stupid. Evolution advancement, <laughs> whatever machine. All oh, right, this is all a story from Stan. I forgot about this part. Perhaps I could interest you in something else. You watch the movie, you scare the girl, the girl snuggles up next to you. Next thing you know, you gotta raise a kid. Your life falls apart. Mm. Forget that last part. This next. Hey, it's a horror story, right? Play day. Time you kids learn to watch the classics from my day. Ooh, old people movies. Hmm. Get ready for references we don't understand and words we can't repeat. Roadhouse. Maybe even older than Roadhouse. Hercules. Oh no, Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> With the Cyclops? I don't know what this one is supposed to be. <laughs> Kid, it's just a movie. It can't hurt you. No talking. They wait for you to talk and then crawl inside your mouth. Why did you have to show her that tape? There's got to be a way to get her over this. Hmm. Filmed on sight. All right. If we can just get the director. <laughs> She's still in the basket. <laughs> I don't know, dude. We want to get a look at your figurines. We're not paparazzi. Aha! Kid, listen to me. For the last time, there is nothing here to be afraid of. That is, that's a cool effect, though. How they incorporated the claymation into the standard animation. Don't know how they did that, but that's really interesting. This is really cool. <laughs> Unexpected. Mabel is definitely facing her fears. Is she gonna come back and save him? How is this happening? What do they want? I'm afraid they want you. His own creations came to life and enslaved him. Circa 1970 something. But how are these things real? What about stop motion? What? Do you really believe someone moves these figures one frame at a time? I'm not a masochist. I used black magic to make them animate themselves. It's a lot of it's a lot of frames to be fair, but <laughs> what if it is all black magic, even in real life? Well, Mr. Pines, at least you finally get to work with your favorite director. And by work, I mean suffocate inside a big wad of clay. Come on, Mabel. No one else. Yeah. Don't eat it. Okay, make it cute. There you go. Into something I like. Whoa, I think I have this is just clay. <laughs> That's terrifyingly cute. Hmm. We only get to see in shadow. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Did any of that really happen? I mean, it's a gravity fall, so probably yes. I'm just glad none of us got turned into clay. Holy Toledo! How about this delicious potion? Here, have a free sample. Why would you drink that? And here we have our latest attraction. 
the legendary cheapskate. I saw it blinking. <laughs> Just an optical illusion. Come along, everyone. Step right up. Did that really happen? I don't think so. That's right, I'm a jerk. That's it. It's a bit beyond being a jerk. You just kidnapped some person? <laughs> and turned him into an attraction? Help me! <laughs> it's like the kid trapped under the pool. So many people in Gravity Falls need help. <laughs> okay, so this is a fun episode, but I'm gonna go right to the end. So I'm thinking, okay, are they implying that Stan truly is evil? Because he'll actually kidnap drug someone, kidnap them, put them into an attraction. Is that embellishment? Did that not really happen? Or is the whole trust no one meant to be more literal? Even Stan? Maybe his motives are nefarious? I don't know if that's meant as just an, you know, random joke that doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't mean anything. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking about that too much, it's possible. But to me, that's really weird and all psychotic. So I don't know what to do with that, exactly. I, I love that Neil deGrasse Tyson was Waddles when he was hyper-intelligent. That's just fun, you know. <laughs> Great to listen to his voice and him pretending to be a pig, <laughs> of all things, to, to make an appearance. And I was told that Picard, uh, Patrick Stewart, also is going to make an appearance. So they're getting some big names in this show, and I can't wait to experience that, too. Yeah, other than that, it was just filler. I don't know if any of this is going to apply later on. Uh, Waddles was there at the... Spooky tapes, Mabel conquering her fear and making something pretty out of it. There's a lot of themes about this, you know, in the show of conquering your fears, conquering your demons, facing up, standing up against them. And that's uh, good life advice. Fantastic on that note. <laughs> All right, on to the next episode next week. And uh, if you want these uncut, check out my Patreon, link in the description. Otherwise, take care. See you soon.